What's up guys, I just wanted to make a really quick video because I'm about to do a playthrough of Solasta Crown of the Magister and I'm sure a lot of people are going to know how I installed the mod, so this is exactly what I'm doing. So this is going to be good for pretty much any mod on the Nexus mod page for this game. Uh, most of them use a thing called Unity Mod Manager and this is exactly what I'm going to show you how to use. Uh, the specific mod I'm going to use for this game myself is going to be the Community Expansion Pack 2. This adds a few things like uh, new races, new class, subclasses, spells, feats, uh, fighting style, and so on and so forth. So for this install you need a few things but don't worry I'm gonna tell you all of that and all the link all the links are going to be in the description below so let's get into it for the install you can just go into the file tabs on the game click on the manual download and it's going to tell you that you need an additional file that you may not have it's called the unity mod manager this is the thing they're gonna use to install the mod inside of the game and to manage it so you can just right click on it and open in the new tab. We're going to worry about that later. And then go into the download section. Uh, you're gonna need to be logged into mod, to Nexus mod to do this. So just be sure to do that. Then you're gonna go to free downloads and click on that. You're gonna go to the Unity Mod Manager page that we just opened. Go to the files, manual download. Once again, you're going to need to be signed in to do this then slow download. You don't need the fast download. Just click on the slow download. It's going to take a minute or two and you're going to come up with those two folders, right? Unity Mod Manager, whatever version version it is, and then Solasta Community Expansion. Uh, you don't need to touch with this zip file for now, but you're going to want to open this one, the Unity Mod Manager, and extract it to your desktop. Now, I've already done this, and this is the folder it's going to give you. You can now throw this one away. We don't need it anymore. You're going to open the Unity Mod Manager. You're going to file the, you're going to find the Unity Mod Manager application. It's going to be the only one with a little icon. Uh, if, if you don't know, just try to click on anything. It's going to, you're going to figure it out. Once you open it, this little window is going to appear and this is how you're going to install and manage all of the mods for every single game that uses this Unity tool. So to set it up, it's really simple. You need to find the game. Now Solasta is already placed for mine because I've already done this, but you're gonna wanna find Solasta. You can type it out, it's gonna make it easier for you. And then the, the harder part of this thing is to find the path. Now you can click on the folder because not every single game is going to be able to be found on your computer. It kind of depends on your folder naming and everything. Every single computer is a little bit different, but I've got a tip for you to find the folder. So it's going to be like, where is the game? And you're, you're going to tell it like that. So what I do usually to find games uh, where I don't know where the folder is, is I go to whatever platform I have the game on, this time it's Steam, and I go into the options of the game, either with the little uh, gear here, or you can right click on the game, go to manage, and you're going to have a tool that's like browse local files, anything that's like show game folder or anything. You just wanna find the folder by yourself. It's going to open a window that you don't really need to do anything. All you need to do is take note of the path here. So for me, it's in my hard drives inside a folder called Big Games, inside a folder called Steam Apps, install inside a folder called Common, and the folder of the game is Celasta Crown of the Magister. We can close it. Now that we know about that, we're gonna go back to this page and we're gonna do this exact same path. So Hard drive, big games, Steam apps, common, and then we're gonna find the game. It's going to be this one here, Celasta, Crown of Magister, and we're just going to be okay. Now you can go into the mod page. You're gonna take the zip file. It's important that it's still a zip file. If it doesn't work, it might be because you extracted it. You need to have it being a zip still. You, you can't just take it out like that. 
you need the zip. You're gonna drag and drop the zip file inside of this little part of the window. Boom, it's gonna unpack. You can see the text at the bottom. This should appear. Now you can go back to the install and this update button should either say install or update, one of the two. I don't exactly remember, but it should light up. You're gonna wanna click it and and once you start up the game, it should look a little bit like this. You're gonna have a window that's gonna pop and it's the mod manager version. It doesn't look great, but trust me, it's really useful. And you're going to have the mod that you have. Now, if you click on the mod, you're gonna have a huge amount of information. I'll let you uh, kind of just browse through it. The real thing I wanted for the mod was the races and the spells. So I'm gonna go into the races tab uh, and I'm gonna uh, and I'm gonna like activate all of them. The little green X is activated. The or the red circle is not activated. So select, select, select all. You can just click select all if you don't care. I'm gonna go into feats, select all of them, activate everything and spells, and then you, you can like click here, or you can just select all of them, and it is what it is. Um, and yeah, you're gonna have a huge amount of tabs to choose from. Now, sometimes the game is going to ask you to restart and that's okay. Just restart it whenever and that's it. It's usually going to be whenever you change something inside of the Unity Mod Manager at the beginning. Um, update successful, please restart. If, if the window doesn't pop up, it means something went wrong. Restart the process. Uh, make sure whenever you open the Mod Manager, that it looks a little something like this. Uh, the update is grayed out and the mod, this one is here. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. If you've been watching this video because you were curious uh, since you saw my playthrough, thank you guys for supporting the channel. If you haven't watched my playthrough yet, please go check out the rest of my channel. I do a lot of gaming and installing here. Thank you guys for watching, it means the world to me and I'll see you guys next time.